Well, basically what we do, which is a little different to other navigation systems, let's say for a regular lumbar open instrumentation case, um, we open the patient up, we actually put the retractors in, and then we also position the frame for the navigation. And then we go do the CT scan while the patient is being opened, but obviously covered up. And then we start the navigation afterwards. And the advantage is that the patient does not move at all anymore. By putting the retractors in, we don't even have any change in position of different vertebrae because the retractors keep in, are kept in place and hold the muscles tight. And this way, it's a very accurate system. And by even having the reference arc at the iliac crest, we go up in the thoracic spine and accuracy is good enough to do that. It was important to us to have a very high quality CT scan. And obviously there are different options to navigate. You can use 3D C arms and different, different types that are also practical and you can use them, but the accuracy is not as good. And we liked to have um, the possibility to have the patient also in a, in a long range where you can really scan the whole patient, particularly for our complex procedures. And, and Siemens was the best choice there with the sliding gantry. And it obviously is compatible with the navigation system we use, and that was most important. There are several benefits. One is that after, after some time of learning, um, you're actually faster than without the navigation and without the city. Um, it takes some time to really get a good workflow and ev know, so that everybody knows what's going on. But once you have established that, the uh, CT doesn't take more than three, four, five minutes altogether, the whole setup. And then you start navigating and putting the screws in. And you don't have to reference. That's what I like most about this system in comparison to other systems, that you don't have to re-reference the, the patient. The CT does everything. And then the images are sent to the navigation system and this is enough to start working. The second benefit obviously is that it's um, more accurate. You don't need to revise screws intraoperatively. It's um, more relaxing for the surgeon, particularly in difficult cases and complex cases. And obviously what we do most of the time after we put in the screws and after we're done with the hardware, we will then actually do another CT scan intraoperatively. And this is already our post-op control. And if a screw or another implant is not in perfect position, we would just revise right then, which um, makes a next operation or another operation, a redo operation unnecessary. So it seems like we do more complex cases, even though we haven't really done anything new, and we do more deformity cases than we have done before, because those are most difficult to instrument sometimes, particularly if they have very complex deformities or even malformations, then it can be very difficult. So that's what we do more, and overall, um, it seems like we get more instrumentation cases than we used to do in the past. It's obvious that we have have not revised a single patient that got a CT intraoperatively after putting the screws in because you see right there whether the screws are correct or not. But the best part about this lighting entry is that it's everything is automatically referenced. So once you've done the CT, you can start navigating putting screws in. No extra step and everything is accurate and done. That's, that's the main advantage.